as their quarterback and, and everything he's done this year and in the past, what is it that makes him uh, sort of a unique challenge for you guys this week? Uh, I think the unique thing about him, um, he's a really good uh, passer in the pocket. Um, so, you know, you can sit back there and make some throws in the pocket, but also he can do some things on his feet too. You know, you'll see him um, do some different plays where he likes to pull the ball, get out. He, he creates some, some plays and extends some plays outside the pocket as well. So, you know, you really got to be able to bottle him up, all right, and make sure in the back end that we do a good job just with our eye control, our eye discipline downfield um, as plays get extended and don't let plays break out and, and beat us because we're not disciplined. Um, but, you know, he, he does both. He, he can run the football as well as sit back in the pocket and beat you. He's a dual threat guy. So he sort of challenges all three levels of the defense as much as anyone yeah, you'll, he you'll see. He does. He does. You, you got to account for him in the run game, um, and you still got to be able to do things in the pass game to protect yourself as well. Did, you, did he remind you of McSorley at all? Yeah. I mean, that, you know, another guy, you know, as we, we sat there and game plan, plan them. Now, he, he actually, they, they run him a little bit more. Um, so they'll move a little bit more, but it does remind you of him, of just with what they do. Um, offensively, but you actually will see him scramble um, and do a little bit more in the run game of running the football. D uh, during practice this, this week, what have you guys done to sort of try to recreate that tempo that they run? Uh, it's been good. It's been good. I, I'll tell you, I've ran more uh, in these last two days than I have the last three weeks probably. Um, but I think we've done a good job of just, um, you know, the way we're just doing different two huddle things and um, just really getting those guys going. We, we've been snapping the ball pretty fast um, to prepare our guys, uh, to prepare our guys for it. And, uh, you know, we've done some of our other ACC periods and stuff too of just fast tempo two huddle type deals to get our guys going and get that ball snapped quick to try to simulate. You know, you try to simulate as much as possible and you know we'll see once we get down there and, and we're really going fast tempo um, approaching this but I think our guys have done a really good job of handling it of doing our two whistles sprinting to the football and making sure we're sprinting back and getting our eyes to the sideline and locking in and locking in with a perfect technique alignment and getting our fundamentals down too as, as these plays go fast. Between the tempo they run the physical speed of their receivers and supposed to be pretty hot afternoon day. How much is this game going to be a physical test for the defensive backs? Yeah, I, I think every game is a physical test. You know, I, I think you look, well, it's going to be hot down there. They're up tempo. Um, but every single game you have your challenges. Um, and I think our guys have done a great job of, of embracing that. Um, to me, as a defensive back, this is this is what you love. I will always t tell those guys, you get paid to run. That's, that's what we do. We run around and we cover. Um, so I think it's a great challenge for those guys, and, and they've done a great job on Tuesday, Wednesday, of, of really embracing this, of you know their tempo and, and you know taking pride of getting back and getting our eyes back and being aligned, ready to go. Um, like I said before, our, our fundamentals too, because that's one thing you know you see with guys on film is once you get some tempo, some of those things will will go south a little bit. But really preaching that and the attention to detail to still do the small things right. Um, but that goes back to your urgency, um, you know, and like I say, embracing it all to to get back alive and set, ready to go. Have you guys done any more tackling in practice this week after some of the struggles from Saturday? Yeah, yeah we, we always tackle. That's that's TTO. So we do. We did a lot of you know safety wise cup tackle and different things. So we're always gonna um, you know do that to start off our our individual periods. We're, we're always gonna look at that and do that. And you know we did some different things too. We'll do some different things of you know perimeter fits and stuff like that um, of getting those guys going. What sort of a, of stresses does playing an offense that that, op that operates at that rate and, and that speed, what sort of stresses does that place on a defense and what are the best ways, I guess, in some cases to counteract that? Yeah, I think I think the biggest thing is, um, you know, I, again, I think we, we try to, again, simulate, like I say, with the two huddles of going, uh, but the stresses is just making sure, you know, of not being, you know, your mental toughness of like, you know, you'll see a lot of guys, it's just, you, you watch some film, guys are going back and now they sort of just shut down for a play. Then you see a big play hit. So we just got to make sure we're sharp up top mentally. Um, then when you see games like this, you, you get more guys playing. So all those guys have to be locked in, ready to go as we substitute guys and get other guys on the field, um, you know, to make sure they're getting the reps so, so guys are staying fresh. Um, but yeah, we're, we're putting a lot of plays on them right now uh, to make sure they're ready to go. Talking about perimeter fix, is that the bubble screen? Kind of yeah, just working. Yeah, just working different drills. Yep, yep. Just working different drills of just force leverage inside out on the ball, keeping leverage on the ball. So you know, we just work different tackling drills in general, and more emphasis on some things as well. 
as someone who coached in that state, um, did you ever have a sense or, or were you surprised at all at the kind of the monster this program has become down in UCF, yeah, this they, run they've been on? Yeah, they've done a great job. I tell you, obviously the last coach uh, did a great job and they're continuing to do a good job of building on, on what he, he's done. I mean, what was it, three years ago, I think they were 0 12, uh, 0 and, 12 and now they're here. So, uh, yeah, they, they've done a good job and do a good job of recruiting down there and getting good talent from Florida. Speaking specifically of the safeties, I mean, the offense you saw last week, this week, and even next week with Syracuse, does it put more pressure on your guys in man-to-man situations, just the way they spread you out? And how are your guys, you know, handling, you know, where yeah. they're going to be one-on-one more often than a good yeah. situation? It's good, but that's a, that's our defense, mm-hmm. right? I mean, our, our, our DBs, that's what we do. We cover, uh, you know, our, our field safety and those guys. I mean, you know, it's just more space. Mm-hmm. You're, you're putting in more space. They're expanding it out. But our defensive backs in general, I mean, that's that's what we do within our defense. Um, we're going to cover guys and you know when you when you bring the box in tighter we're going we're to load you up in the box so um, like I say the biggest thing is the tempo and probably the alignments but week to week th- these are what we do in general and that's what you're going to see in the ACC as well um, you're going to see these different types of sets and open sets um, where they spread you out uh, and get the ball out on the perimeter and they push it deep um, so you know that's that's every single week that, that we see this.